square root of the number using repeated subtraction. Today we can continue today's topic. Find the square roots through prime factorization. Previous class we have discussed finding the square root through repeated subtraction, but it will be time consuming. If it is a bigger number, it will take more time to find the square root. So in prime factorization, it is little bit simpler. How we can find prime factorization of a number? Eight. How we can find the factors? Eight we can divide two, four, two, two again two, one. So eight is equal to two into two into two. Three times two. Next number thirty six. Thirty six. Two eighteen. Two nine ten nine. We can't uh, divide with the two. So three. Three three is our nine. Three one. So thirty six we can write two into two into three into three. Okay. The twenty five. Twenty five also same way. Twenty five we know five five is our twenty five. So twenty five is equal to five into five. These are the factors of these numbers eight thirty six thirty twenty five. See here. In eight, factors are two into two into two. So only one pair we got. So one two left. So this is not eight. We can't take the square root of eight because only one pair only we got. But in thirty six, see here one two into two one pair we got. Next two pair also. So in these two one two we can take. Then from these two. One more, one we can take. So six is the square root of thirty-six. Square root of thirty-six is equal to six. Same way here also, one pair. That is square root of twenty-five is equal to five. Understood. So this way we can find the square root using prime factorization method. Understood? One more example we can do. Six thousand four hundred. In fact, press this six thousand four hundred plus two. Three twos are six. Two twos are four. Then zero zero. Then two again. One six zero zero. We have to divide. Then. A zero zero two four hundred then two two hundred then again two one hundred again two fifty again two twenty five then five twenty five 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 one then we can write here see here two into two And again, two into two. Again, two into two. Again, two into two. Then five into five. Okay. Then each pair one number we can take. Two into two. From here two, from here two, here also two, from here also two, then here also five. So we can multiply two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight twos are sixteen, sixteen fives are eighteen. Hope you all understood. Next number is forty-eight. Forty-eight we can check. Two twenty-four, then two twelve, then two six, then two three, then three one. That is forty-eight is equal to two into two into two into two into three. So pairs we can take two into two one. 
and here also two but here only three left so we can't take the pair of three so 48 is not a perfect square we can't take the square of 48 not because this is not a perfect square so this way we can find whether the number is per perfect square or not hope you all understood we can continue in the next class